Swiss Tech has been making some waves recently. What is it all about? We're going to dive into that and point out the huge gamble Swiss Tech is making. Do you know the Swiss Tech story? Well, if you don't, you're not alone. A lot of people don't realize in 1994 in Ohio, Larry K. Legg started the Swiss Tech company. And according to as the story goes, he was inspired by Swiss craftsmanship, hence the name, I suppose. Now, sometime it changed hands several years afterwards, and now all the manufacturing is made in China. Now, as of today, Great Star USA owns the companies, the uh, company rather. Now, Swiss Tech started out as a keychain multi-tool company. That's at least some of the first multi-tools they made. I believe this was the first design. Then they expanded. They made some with several tools in the handle. Then it got, there was larger ones. There was ones with flashlights, all kinds of different ones. Even to this day, you can find versions like this that I just bought off of AliExpress that carry the Swiss Tech name and are still fairly true to the original. Now, in modern days, Swiss Tech has branched out and recently they have been doing some different things. Now, one of the first things they did was essentially just copy all the other tools that were on the market. So I think there must be designers that essentially pump out a certain uh, tool and then a bunch of different companies put their name on it. It's sold under Byberry, Day Camping, HX Outdoors. There's a ton of, di of different names out there. And I think different stores on AliExpress can buy it and then resell it. So Swiss Tech has been in that market. I've seen this tool under several different names. This is a Leatherman Wave clone, one of the more earlier styles, I would say a little bit earlier. This doesn't have scissors on the outside. So this one right here has been around for a little while. So essentially, Swiss Tech began to follow this wave of designs based off of Leatherman, and they did sell, and they do sell to this day, a lot of wave style clones. Now, in more recent days, Swiss Tech has teamed up with Walmart, and they seem to be coming more and more paired up with Walmart offering not only multi-tools, but also knives as well. So I'm seeing Swiss Tech make this shift toward, again, selling keychain multi-tools to now where they're almost trying to become a Gerber, where Gerber sells a lot of cheap knives, they sell a lot of cheap multi-tools, and it seems like Swiss Tech is really working hard to sort of capture this spot. If you go to your local Walmart, you may see a tool like this. There has also been this tool online, which isn't that great, and then just recently, they did release this Uberall as well, which is more of a keychain multi-tool. Has some limitations, but it has some interesting parts as well. Now you'll see a, a design right here where they're trying to go for the black and red. They're trying to make it, I guess, connect with the brand, just like you do with Milwaukee DeWalt. Connect black and red with Swiss Tech, at least in the US. Now, what we saw with this tool, the Practice, was essentially, again, it was a Leatherman Wave copy. It was a little different in that you had a couple different, you had a Phillips driver that paired into the larger Phillips driver instead of a bit driver. And then one of the big departures was the Oz 8 blade, also almost like a bed liner on the outside of this tool. So that is something that did seem to sort of set it apart to some extent. Now this middle one is essentially a SOG baton. This is called the tax stock. I think it is still on Walmart's website. I've seen it go off, come back on. I would not recommend this tool. The best thing about it is the ratchet at the end, but the pliers just don't work that well. They slide down when you try to use them, making the plier function essentially useless, though you can use a lot of uh, the rest of the tool. Now, the Uberall is a very small spring-loaded set of pliers right here. I thought it was a power pint size, but it's essentially, you know, a lot more like the Mini Next Tool Sailor Pro. So it is a keychain tool. 
I also see that Swiss Tech is gambling with making some more original designs. We don't see that happen all the time in the multi-tool world. A lot of times with the big four, they are fairly conservative with their designs. Swiss Tech is trying to think outside the box. We'll see if it works for them. But so far, they have several designs at Walmart and they seem to be expanding their line. Now, last year, Swiss Tech came out with this 30-in-1 tool that has a wire stripper on the one side and a plier head on the other. It was a very unique design. You have a lot of Leatherman Wave influences in the handle right here. You've got uh, these tools right here, the file and so forth. And then you've got all these normal tools you would see in a Leatherman Wave clone. But this tool, plier head, was totally different. And it was really neat in that you could fold this up. Let's see, I guess we maybe need to do it the other way. There we go. Then you could fold it up and it all folds down like that. Very radical design. Now, again, this right here was discontinued after a very limited run. It does bear the Swiss Tech name. And then recently I saw one of these go for $280 on eBay. The first batch, I think they were about $50, then they were marked up to $100 on AliExpress, and then now they sell for almost $300, which is pretty crazy to me. So we see Swiss Tech again coming from just making keychain tools, uh, making wave clones, making designs for Walmart. This is actually their latest design. But also overseas, the Swiss Te Tech name seems to be more uh, lately used with tools that are interesting. They're a little different. They're a little bit edgy. And it seems like Swiss Tech is almost like a trial company where these tools are used. So this tool I think right here showed us that Swiss Tech is making a gamble in that they're open to new designs. At least they're willing to have their name put on new designs. Things that are premium, they may be strange, they may be different, but Swiss Tech is willing to let their name be put on them. Sort of like Gerber was willing to make uh, some of their re Gerber recoil and some of their different designs that were a little bit odd. So I see that Swiss Tech is gambling with that. Now, the most recent instance of seeing Swiss Tech again try to be up market was their Surge clone, their 30th anniversary edition. Again, it came with a special pouch and then also this shield that I showed at the beginning of the video. And I've done a couple videos on this, but I do think some of... Uh, some of the tools right here were pretty unique. You had some signed knife blades. You had a Damascus blade. This was signed by the owner herself right here. Now, for the first time on a Leatherman Surge style tool, we did see the micro bit driver. We saw the serrated knife blade again with that hook as well in it that I just showed you. So we did see different upgrades. Again, the Damascus knife and then the gold style cutters as well as the special handles with the 30th anniversary engraved in it. So all these were definitely some interesting upgrades, probably not worth that $130 price. There does seem to be a bunch of these left in AliExpress. I'll try to leave a link for that uh, so that you can go look at that yourself. So what is Swiss Tech's huge gamble? Well, I think it's this. Swiss Tech is trying to be all the multi-tool companies in one. That is, that is a lot. So with this tool right here, I can really see them trying to be like SOG and like Gerber. They're trying to be innovative. They're trying to be a little different, a little bit edgy. Think totally outside the box. And even though, unfortunately, this design seemed to flop, I would love to see a limited re-release. I would probably buy another one or two of this. Even though it flopped for the general market, I think that was really cool that they came out with it. Then with this Uberall for the U.S. market over here at Walmart, we are finally seeing a fresh new design. It's not perfect, but at least it's new. And I do like that from Swiss Tech. It's not just a copy. I don't see this tool anywhere else. That is 
definitely a risk. So we see, especially with Leatherman, they're trying to keep a lot of their leg legacy designs that they know sell. And when you go outside the box, that can be a costly mistake. So we see Swiss Tech trying to sort of edge outside that box, add new things, mix and match designs to make something a little different, and we'll see how it pays off. Now, also, I see them being a lot more like Leatherman trying to be with this design right here, which again, it's essentially a Leatherman Surge, but they're trying to make a special edition, just like Leatherman has been doing for years, coming out with special editions. We've seen this. I don't think it's been a huge success at the moment, but they are trying new things. It's a big gamble, and we'll see what happens. I'm guessing this won't happen too much more because I don't think, again, that people are that big a fan of it. So let me know what you think. What about the gambles that Swiss Tech is making? Is it good or is it a bad idea?